morning, good morning, good morning. Well, good afternoon. It's almost like two o'clock. Um, took my cousin to the airport, like I said yesterday, and came home, edited one of my fitness videos, um, uploaded one of my Patreon videos, and now I'm heading to the gym to do my cardio. Today I'm probably gonna mix it up, probably gonna just keep it like 15 minutes, and then go on the treadmill, watch a couple YouTube videos, and do like a steady walk incline for like 20 minutes. Um, yeah, I woke up about, I, well, I weighed myself and I was 94.4. As you can see, the numbers keep me going up, down, up, down type of situation. And now that I'm actually tracking my calories, you know, trying to hit that 2,700 calories every, you know, um, day, it's, it's kind of like making my thinking slow-ish. Because, you know, sometimes when you don't feel like eating, you're like, oh, I still got to hit my calories. And I feel like I did that yesterday. I wasn't even hungry, you know, but it's like, oh, you need the food, you need the nutrition to keep your body going and all that stuff. But 2,700 is where we're at. Let's see how we look by the end of the week, you know, and if we're still around this 94 type of situation, you know, because we went down to 93.8 at one point, but if we're still at 94-ish or 93, late, like up high at 93, then we're going to have to reduce the calories, like by that 200 calories to make it 2,005 and increase cardio by like 10 minutes and hopefully that will make some changes but yeah other than that i feel good i feel like i look great right now you know and we're only in week two but yeah i'm here at the gym now literally you guys know the fact my house is literally that building over there that's my house <laughs> and the gym's right here so it literally takes me 30 seconds to walk here i could actually sprint in like 10 seconds actually i ain't no use in both because sprinting like 20 seconds. Alright, let me get into this cardio. Bits. My heart rate is not safe right now. My heart rate is not safe. Hey, I love skipping. But it's so hard. It's so hard. I can't keep my arm up. Oh, I will stay here for about two weeks. Okay, maybe a minute. Oh, shit. Hey, everything pulsing right now. Everything.
go get some food. I have decided not to go to the gym today. I've been working out six days straight. So I've decided to make Thursdays my days off. So Thursday, every Thursday, I would take a rest day and work out six days in a row. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday rest. That's the plan. Well, now I'm about to show you the meal that we're making now. Um, as you saw, I had my breakfast, which is my first meal, and it's gonna be my second meal, and then I'm gonna have my snacky snack. So let me show you guys what I'm eating. So here we have salad. We have tomatoes, baby tomatoes. We've got um, lettuce. We've got this other one, green thing. I don't know what it's called, but it's green. You got cucumbers, avocado, and that's and parsley. That's pretty much it. Mum made some little seasoning in, in there that we're gonna drizzle on top of this after. And we've got the chicken thighs here. Again, it's not just me. It's me, my mom, my brother, my aunt, and one of my mum's close friends that lives nearby. Um, I've got mustard in here, which I'm gonna put some lemon juice and some salt and season this and then put it in the oven. Whilst I'm in my room doing my editing and all that stuff, today is going to be editing day and I'll probably go live on Twitch later in the evening. This is what I am going to really eat the Dijon Mayo, haven't really eaten the salad. I'm actually not that hungry to be honest. My first move did kind of kick my ass, <laughs> but yeah, um, drank also my BCAAs and creatine while I was eating this. I'm just, I'm just not hungry, man. Maybe later on I might be, but now just chilling there, editing, <clears throat> letting my body do his stuff. I'm gonna go sleep early today since I actually do have work tomorrow. I thought I didn't have work because they took away the shift and I was back there. Yeah, all that shit is whatever. I'm gonna go work. I got work at seven in the morning. I got delivery with my guy David for the first hour and a half, and then I got shift. Wow. Well, yeah. Kind of slumped all that like, already, you know. Body fragile. All this cardio is hurting me. So it's good I have a rest day today, you know, to really let my body fully recover. <sighs> yeah, let's get back to this editing. <laughs> And probably gonna bag out a couple. I'm trying to try and finish this pogba joint today, you know. I know a lot of this stuff ain't fitness related, but this is basically my life outside of the gym. This is what I do. I sit, edit, live stream, all that stuff. That's 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 me. Art, fitness, work, family. Nothing more to it. But yeah, probably come up with a question of the day later on. If I can come up with one, or so can come up with one, or my little brother can come up with one related to fitness, and I'll try to answer that. If not, you guys won't hear from me until tomorrow. It's just, that's it. <laughs> Alright, in a bit. Deuces. So we're finishing off the day with that snacky snack. Mm. <laughs> but we've got no chia seeds in here today. Chia seeds are finished. So all we've got here is pecans, raspberry, strawberry, hair what? Hair for? Hair for like the one your mom cracks. Yeah, that's finished. I oh, it's in the freezer. It's in the freezer. Mm -hmm. I might have to add that to it. But we've got peanuts as well in here and all the berries and creme fresh, And then we've got the creme fresh with the 38% one and peanut butter flavours. Mm -hmm. But that's it for today. Today's question of the day. What you got, so? Huh? Question of the day today. I don't know. What's the difference between. Why would you. Lifting versus. Is there such a thing as mind to muscle connection? Is there such a thing? And if there is, how can we do it? Is there such is is mind and muscle connection a thing? That's what she's basically asking. Yeah? Is it science or is it bro science? It's bro science. It's, it's no it's science. I feel like it's bro science turned into 
I think it's a bit of both actually, but I recommend it is science because like when you put your mind to something, it, that you know what I mean that's just the way it's it is. It's your mind. You know, it's, it's that kind of science that you that you can't explain and you don't even need proof. It's just it's just the way it is, you know. So that's a good question, you know. And I truly believe in mind and muscle connection, you know. And the reason why I say that is because I've experienced it with other people, you know. Like I'll be at the gym and someone will be training with like. 10 kilo dumbbells and they'll be like ah, it's too easy because obviously they're not connected with the weight and the thing they're just motion you know just going through the motion they're not really focusing on the muscle that they're working which is minor muscle connection you know and i'll take the 10 kilos and 10, 10 kilo dumbbells and i'll do the same thing and I'll, they'll see me sweating you know i put it like making facial expressions like you know like ah you know and they'll be like wait what's going on here how come me that's way smaller than this guy is struck is like saying it's so easy and it's just nothing and he's over there going ah sweating and everything it's because i'm i'm connected with my muscle you know i'm like my muscle work you know i'm like let's go me and you you know and it's the same with like lifting heavy ass weight a lot of people do that in the gym as well lift heavy ass weight just going through the motion and not really focusing on the whole muscle mind connection it's like i think the number one one with that is back just because most people can't see it, it's very difficult to get connected with it. You know, when you're doing like lat pull downs and stuff like that, a lot of people complain saying, oh, I feel it in my elbows, I feel it in my biceps, can't really feel it in my back. Most of the time it's new beginners, it's beginners that say that. It's because they can't connect their mind to their back because they can't see it, you know. Um, it took me a long time as well. Uh, when I started, it took me like four years before I really understood what mind and muscle connection meant. Once you find it, oh, loud it, loud it, loud it. It's sweet. Very sweet, very nice, very... It's just, it's just the stuff, you know. You don't even need to go crazy heavy to get that good contraction in that muscle you're working, you know. That's when you realize that tra training triceps, you can go extremely light, but you can really feel the muscle doing a job that it needs to do. Um... So yeah, that's basically it when it comes to mind and muscle connection. Um, I think it's very important to learn. And again, I'm totally honest here. I'm telling you guys my experience. And it's going to take you a lot of time. You know, you need to understand that it's not just something you're going to wake up tomorrow and understand. Oh, that's what muscle and mind connection is. You know, when you finally, finally get it, you're like, oh, I don't want this feeling to go away because it's so good. So yeah, that's that's basically what I want to say. That's a good question though. Thank you for that one. Yeah. So that's a good question. Um, hopefully I helped some of you guys out uh, with the whole mind and muscle connection. Um, yeah. That's, that's, it. that's it basically for it today. Hope you guys enjoyed this fitness vlog type of situation. <laughs> um, I'm going to get back to eating this. And yeah, I've got work at 7 in the morning. I don't know if I should go nap now and then wake up around like 2 and then just go at it live stream and everything hmm we'll see how i feel after this but yeah that's it for me today make sure to smash the thumbs up and subscribe if you ain't already subscribed deuces